<laughs> well, I heard that 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 because of his drumming, the 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 well, what is what is the the biggest change for you in sound then? Because you you can compare now. Um, he is definitely a he's a different type of drummer than our than our last one we had. We've had I'm four now four right? drummers, so we've had some different styles. Uh, he's a definitely a different style. He 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 hits harder. It's a lot. You know, louder signal. I guess the last one we had, he was he was really a jazz style drummer, a really talented jazz drummer in that sense. It, uh, just a different style. He, he hits a lot harder. Uh, I mean, he's got his. I don't know. He's got his. He's got his licks and his rolls down. Yes. Like every everybody, it's hard to explain when you play with a drummer, and you let them kind of noodle on their own. They've got mm -hmm. their thing. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And he goes, and, and as soon as he starts playing, I could tell it's it's him playing. As soon as you know our last drummer and the drummer before they start playing, you know their style. And it's just a slightly mm. different. It's a slightly different feel. Uh -huh. Hard to explain until you're, you're actually drumming with them. Different feel, a different category. Be your favorite things you play all the time. Yeah, right? going from this and what you roll into from that, you know, with, without sounding kind of you know flaky and flighty about it, you just you got a certain feeling about how they play by yeah. just playing with them for a while. So you know all my go-to fills? I know all his go-to fills. <laughs> Nothing surprises me anymore. <laughs> he knows he's <laughs> well, you have to change them now. Yeah, he's already... I give him yeah. a look at one of the songs every night that okay. we play. I'm waiting for something new, and yeah, I'm just like... <laughs> no, that's my favorite part. <laughs> that one part of the whole hour. That's my favorite part, yeah. to do that little spin there. Okay. Okay. And um, that's good. how was it for you to... Were you, were you a bit nervous, I think? Come and join them, or I it was mean, an interesting time to join the band because my audition was recording the song uh, "Far Away." Okay, I, I had a little break from Three Doors and came in and did the song in the studio, and to, it was it was a little weird to jump into a situation where they're writing. You know, you're invited to write, but I didn't know what the politics were like. I didn't yeah. know how much I should say, you know, sometimes you put yourself out there and then you get ridiculed a bit, so you're kind of, you push and pull, <laughs> and you know, you know, you say really? something. Our songwriting is all about ridicule. Yeah, that yeah. was a stu- I can't believe you thought of that. You should go outside and think about how stupid that was. Wasn't, wasn't that dumb? That was fucking dumb. That was the stupidest. That's so dumb. Yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> but it's all in fun. I mean, that was the, the hardest thing, like, joining any new band is, sure. the, is learning who the people are and how they work. And how do they work, <laughs> songwriting-wise? You know what? I, uh, I heard from lots of people that it was just like, you go in, you'll probably just go in, and they're going to tell you what to do, and that's it. It was the opposite. I walked in, and any idea you have, if you have a good idea, it's going on the record. So I did the drums for that song, and a couple of days later, I just was sitting there with the guitar, and Chad liked what he heard. He said, go in and record it. So I recorded a little guitar part. That's far away. Just a little okay. chimey, okay. little like, you know, little production things. And if you have a harmony idea, then go in and sing it. And if you got a lyric idea, perfect.